I was expecting a little more people in the room, I'll be honest. <laughs> but I see a lot of empty chairs, which is a good thing because, like you said, there are a lot of people who think they're good at tech talks. <laughs> good for us, good for us. We've got a lot of representatives. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> a small disclaimer. Uh, the devil's voice in my head last night told me that it's a really good idea to drink iced tea in the middle of the night. So if my voice is a little shaky or a little low in between, do pardon me. Uh, now I would also like to tell you that this talk today is going to be highly interactive. I want everybody to be an active participant, So, which technically means that you're back to high school and whenever I ask a question, you're supposed to answer. So. So do you know who I am? You don't. You don't. Why, why are you sitting here then? Again, do you know who I am? Good for you guys. Do you know what I'm going to do here today? What I'm talking about? Perfect. Lesson number one. You can see that I have a blank slide on because I don't think that telling you again who I am or what I'm going to do here makes any sense because if you're here you're sitting technically means you already know who I am you already know what I'm going to say so I'm not going to waste any time saying that so not necessarily an introduction is not necess necessarily needed so I'm going to skip past that tip number two everyone gets nervous you should embrace it now, even I am nervous at this point of time I mean till last night last night I was absolutely confident that I am going to get on this stage and I am going to blow your minds. As soon as I enter this room, as soon as I step on this stage, my legs suddenly become noodle and I can't stand on my own two legs and I am shaking, my knees are shaking, my knees are literally shaking right now. But what I am doing here is I am embracing it. It's okay to be nervous, everybody gets nervous. I mean here I am standing on a stage and when I look down in the room I see so many pairs of eyes staring directly at me expecting something from me. What if I might not be able to deliver? That is where nervousness gets to you. And when nervousness gets to you, you start choking on your own words, you forget what you were about to say, you technically ruin your, the whole agenda that you had in mind. So nervousness is, it's tricky, but it can be fought and it can be overcome by, yes, a lot of practice. Um, huh, this is a little trick of mine. <laughs> water bottle, water is basically an antidepressant. So I keep drinking a few sips of water in between to keep myself on track. That is another tip. Good, good eyes you've got there and good notice. Um, a cu first couple of times you get on the stage, you will feel nervous. That's okay. That's completely okay. I take it, how I understand it is that if you guys are here, you guys are, have taken the time out of your busy schedule to listen to me, I already have your attention. You expect something from me and you have already ex accepted me as a speaker and I have accepted you as my audience. So I don't expect any one of you to judge me, but the first couple of times when you get on this stage, it's tough. I mean, you create this bubble of suffocation around yourself and you think everybody is judging you. Heck, even this pillar, you imagine it having eyes and staring directly into your soul and judging you for who you are. But that's not happening. If you are here, I am here on this stage to impart some knowledge to you, to give you something and you are here to accept it. That's good. I usually get asked a lot of times, how do you get during the first two minutes of the talk? I mean, it's, it gets really awkward. My personal agenda here is, again, like I did in this very talk, I did not introduce myself. I started a conversation. That gets me comfortable. I go around, I talk to the audience, I get to know them. That really helps. Getting to know your audience really helps. It puts you in that level of comfort, which in turn would allow you to deliver a good tech talk. If not a great tech talk, a good tech talk at first. Now getting to know your audience also has another plus point which I will come to later in the talk. Tip number three, be prepared. If you are on this stage, 
if somebody has asked you to speak on stage or if you have been accepted as a speaker on stage it's a huge possibility that you are an expert in that particular field now we are talking about tech talks here since you all are developers you are an expert and you are qualified to stand on this stage and address the crowd in front of you but that doesn't mean you wing it <coughs> never wing it I mean sure I'm not asking you I mean you people sometimes people do give talks they create a script they memorize it and they stand on the stage and they give phenomenal tech talks phenomenal tech talks I've seen them myself great tech talks but that that's another way of doing it but not everybody can I personally know what I'm going to say since I'm an expert in what I do I know what I'm going to say I know my content I am prepared with my content but I don't script my dialogues I don't script jokes into my dialogues I don't have a specific flow to what I'm going to say I just stand on the stage I have an idea so this is what I'm going to talk about this is what I have to tell the people and that's what I do in any way however I please words come to my head stupid jokes come to my head people don't laugh it's awkward sweat comes popping out of my face but that's okay that's fine but the idea is to get the message across so you need to be prepared be prepared with whatever content you are about to present that's very important be spontaneous adapt to the crowd not every crowd is the same you need to be spontaneous with what you do tip number four data dumping is a complete no-no <clears throat> now what exactly is data dumping since you all are developers technical people you have done a lot in your life in the company before that in college in school when you were born a lot of things now if you get an opportunity to talk about the things that you have done or some particular technology that you're working in I understand that you have a lot of knowledge a lot of things that you want to tell the crowd the the audience your audience and the audience expects that too but stuffing every single piece of information you have learned throughout the years into one presentation is like talking with your mouth full of Cheetos all you hear is words mumbling but you don't understand any of it that is what I call data dumping so you're based practically dumping data dumping information on everybody without understanding or realizing that if it makes sense to people or not the only way out of this is to not dump a lot of data onto people if you have a lot of knowledge a lot of information that you need to impart break it down break your presentation into two or three or four and so on and so forth as many parts as you want but do not try to fill a lot of information into one presentation I mean you will just keep on swarming your slides have 30 40 slides in one presentation nobody is going to give you that much attention nobody has that the, that life the lifespan of somebody's attention is never that long never so break it down don't data dump talk about what's relevant say if you're talking about how to create a product in a certain technology talk about how to create that product in that certain technology don't talk about how that technology came into existence and how you started working on it and then what happened and what this and that we don't need that we want to know how you made that product in that technology you talk about that we are done thank you very much great talk my next tip is to keep people engaged now when I say engaging people what do what exactly do I mean I'm here standing talking telling you things but if somebody in the corner is on his phone somebody in the other corner is in on his laptop tweeting doing something you're not exactly listening to what I have to say so after the talk is over if somebody comes up to that person and asks, what did you learn I don't know I wasn't listening now why is that maybe because the speaker is boring maybe because you were not interested whatever it may be it is the job of the speaker to keep your audience engaged now when I said I get down there I get to know my audience I talk to a few people then I get up on stage I'm comfortable this is where it helps 
I know my audience. I know what my audience likes. I know if I have to make a joke, if I have to be funny, will the audience understand it? Or will I just pause for effect and hear only crickets? You never know. This is where it helps. So that is one way of keeping your audience engaged. But you don't have to be funny all the time. Some people are not inherent, inherently funny and they try to be funny and that's the biggest turn off you can have in a talk. Engage the audience in a way you're confident that you can. You can be witty, you can again make jokes, or you can be very straight to the point, state facts, get their attention and keep it there. Another way of uh, engaging your audience is to very actively watch your tone. Now I've seen this happen a couple of times. I mean, sure, this is not the first time on stage, but I remember my first days when I was starting to speak on stage. I would give this <coughs> amazing monologue, start with a big bang. People would go, ah. Oh, good stuff Digvijay, that's, that's it, you've got our attention, yes, that's what we want. Midway through the talk, I become a robot. I just go, so this is what I'm talking about and this is what is going to happen. And next slide is about this and this is what I'm going to do and suddenly I look up and half of the people are asleep. Now I think to myself, I started this talk so well. What went wrong? Why are people asleep? This is why because of my tone you what people don't usually realize is that when they are speaking onwards with the talk they become monotonous absolutely monotonous they become flat you need to watch that tone you need to modulate yourself you need to express your emotions you have to be very 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 real if some marketing person comes up to you and asks you to present a product and say oh tell everybody we are very excited about this product and you come here and you say yes we are very excited about this product you're saying you're excited but your body language tells the entire opposite story we don't think that you're very excited about this and we don't believe you why because we don't see that enthusiasm body language is a must that is another aspect of keeping your audience engaged another thing is to not take too much time. I'm telling you right now, this talk is almost over. <laughs> I am not going to take too much time and neither should you. You finish when you're done, but try to finish a little before that. If you try to be on the stage for too long, again, try to impart too much information, become monotonous for a very long time, people lose interest. People just block you out. That's how it is. That's the truth. So don't take too much time. Keep it short, keep it crisp, keep it simple so that people can understand what you're trying to say and that's it, that's the end of it. Tip number six, sparse slides. Now don't mind me saying this, this is something that I have observed almost every time I've been in a presentation. People open their slides and it's filled with text. You've got bullets, you've got pictures, you've got paragraphs, you've got a whole book in one slide. Now all the te technology savvy people here would understand that the human mind, the compiler in the human mind parses one thing at a time. It can be either what I am saying, my words or what you're watching on the screen, which, are the, which is the text. Now while I've got all of that text on the screen and I'm trying to explain it to you, your attention automatically is diverted towards the text that you're reading, you're trying to understand it and by the time you finish, you understand it, I'm done talking. So in the end, what you understand is what your mind lets you understand by reading that text, not by what I said. I might be saying something exceptional, but nobody knows, nobody even cared to draw their attention and it's not your fault, it's not the audience's fault, it's just how the human brain works. That is why we say we should keep our slides to a bare minimum. Focus on the words. Know what you're about to say. Know what you're going to say. Don't put everything on the screen. What's the point of you talking if everything is on the screen? I mean, you can just be very well, uh, be standing here and say, this is the slide. Please read. 
if you have any questions let me know when you're once you're done raise your hands we'll move on to the next what is the point I might as well write an article which I do so sparse slides very important I personally don't like using a lot of images a lot of gifs because I think that it draws the attention of the viewers or the audience from what I am saying to what's happening in that gif or in that image so I don't personally I don't prefer to do that I'd like people to listen to me to hear what I have to say another thing about sparse slides is that people use and put a lot of text in those slides just to remind themselves of what they were going to say I mean I agree we are not all actors learning scripts is not not our thing we can memorize something for a short amount of time but you cannot retain all of that information and if you are memorizing a script for your talk the only plausible solution to not forgetting is to put everything on the slide and then when you forget you take a look and you start speaking again good but not good for the audience and by now I think you all know why if you are trying to remember something every presentation has a feature called speaker notes put all your ideas into speaker notes which only you can see not everybody else this is a little trick a little hack but don't make them too long because if I have a paragraph here I'll just spend some time reading understanding and then saying the same thing to you or if I have everything on the slide I just go tip six sparse slides time is this bonus 1126 a.m. and people would go oh god he's reading he has nothing to say he's reading which is not good not good for you not good for the speaker at all so keep speaker notes handy bullet points are good bullet points are enough the idea here is to look at a word and get an idea of what you were about to say phrase it say it you don't have to read everything word to word in a live presentation bonus tip have a lot of fun always remember there is no judgment involved this is a give and take you give me attention I give you knowledge it's must it's a lot like a conversation you're sitting in a group of three people you're trying to say something as soon as you start speaking people stop talking and listen to you if you say something wrong somebody has an opinion they share it somebody has another opinion they share it this is what we're doing right now you are listening I am talking if you have an opinion you will share it I will consider it you will consider what I have to say and probably dump it because you'll never use it anyway that's okay but always remember to have fun you're on this stage this whole room is yours we are your people and one thing that I would like to add for every prospect in this audience right now who wants to give a talk or I hope you people come up here and talk and earn some extra money <laughs> one good thing that I like about having Wednesday tech talks in geeky ants is that all of these faces are familiar this is the perfect practice ground I can ask for or anyone can ask for for that matter usually when you go out in events you speak you see different faces all the time that gets you perplexed different faces I don't know this person looks a little grumpy maybe he had a fight with his wife in the morning I don't know how I'm going to deal with this but all of you here we see each other every day we talk to each other every day we eat together such familiar faces we wish each other every morning this is the perfect place to practice your speaking skills because you're comfortable we are all comfortable with each other I know all of your faces friendly faces so this is where I can really have fun 
and if I practice, I keep on practicing, you keep on practicing, you will learn to have a lot of fun, your body will respond to having a lot of fun and that is how it is going to be no matter where you give a talk. No matter who your audience is, you'll get that zeal, you'll get that tricky talent of engaging people, capturing their attention and giving them all the information that you have, provided they will take it. That's the most important part. They will take it. So yes, that's it. I'm done. Or am I? Now, I would like to tell you this, that whatever I have presented today, although how short it may be, these are all opinions. These are guidelines. These are not the law. These particular things work for me. They might not work for you. Something else might work for you, but whatever I have presented here is a generic, general idea of approaching talks, tech talks, motivational talks, any kind of talk that you might be into. Now, every time I sit in a talk and I hear somebody speaking, I have different opinions. Things might be different in a certain talk. They might not be the same in the, some other talk. Sure. So I have a lot more things to tell you about how to give good talks or how to at least give a decent talk. There are a lot of other things that I would like to tell you, but not today. I'm really hoping you people will let me back on the stage. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I really hope you people will let me back on the stage and uh, I'm hoping to have a part two of this. Maybe I can talk about other things that you can do to make this make your talking capabilities on stage even better maybe meanwhile i get to part two maybe some of you will get an opportunity to practice these things and i hope that they work for you in favor thank you very much <laughs>